I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. New Orleans police say they're looking for a Los Angeles man accused of trying to steal a big chunk of cinder block wall bearing a painting by the world-renowned graffiti artist Banksy. Police have a warrant to arrest 30-year-old Christopher Sensabaugh on charges of attempted theft and criminal damage to property. Police say the mural could be worth 200000 to $1.1 million. The man was photographed by local residents. He told them he was removing the piece for an art show in London. Connecticut could become the first state to curb loud movies under proposed legislation that's drawing opposition from the Motion Picture Association of America. A proponent of the measure says the industry's decision to use voluntary efforts to keep the sound down doesn't work. But a hearing loss expert says movies are not harmful. The legislature's Public Safety and Security Committee is considering the bill, which would prevent theaters from showing a film or preview that exceeds 85 decibels. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health recommends noise should be kept below 85 decibels for workers for eight hours to, to minimize hearing loss. Sheila McRae has starred on the Broadway stage and in film, yet it's her small screen role as the tolerant and brassy wife of a Brooklyn bus driver for which she is most remembered. McRae, best known for playing Alice Cramden to Jackie Gleason's Ralph in the 1960s recreation of The Honeymooners, died Thursday at the Lillian Booth Actors Home in Englewood, New Jersey. She was 92. McRae replaced Audrey Meadows as Alice Cramden in a later version of The Honeymooners from 1966 to 1970 on the Jackie Gleason show. She was the last survivor from the 60s Gleason show. A large portion of a California collector's vast collection of acoustic guitars is going on the auction block in New York City. The earliest instrument in the collection dates to 1840. The newest is a 2000 recreation of a 1930 Martin Masterpiece piece called an OM45 Deluxe. The auction cows, Guernsey's, says it's one of the finest collections of vintage guitars to come to auction in terms of rarity, original construction, and condition. The sale represents a wide range of makers, including Gibson, Martin, and D'Angelico. The sale is April 2nd and April 3rd. Pre-sale estimates were still being worked out on Friday. The seller is Hank Rizan of Santa Cruz, California. He's founder of the Virtual Museum of Musical Instruments and CEO of Media Rights Technologies. In local entertainment news, Red Hook High School presents Little Shop of Horrors, directed by Debbie Temple. It's happening from March 13th through the 15th at 7.30 p.m. and March 16th at 3 p.m. Tickets can be purchased online at seatyourself.biz slash Red Hook High School. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.